Uh, in today's uh, tutorial, we will discuss formation of cations or formation of positive ions of uh, sodium and magnesium metals. So let's see how these metals form these ions and what are the ways through which we can represent these uh, cations formation diagrammatically or the Lewis dot structure. So let's start sodium ions formation. First we will discuss sodium ions formation. As you have noticed this that atomic number of sodium is 11. It is in the first group of the periodic table. If you have noticed the periodic table, sodium is present in the first group of that periodic table which is on the left hand side of the periodic table which means it has 11 electron sodium atomic number is 11 which means that in the nucleus of sodium atom you will find 11 protons and in their outermost shells the shells which are present are in the surrounding of the nucleus there you will find 11 electrons so its atomic number is the number of protons which is present in the nucleus of the sodium atom so sodium atom has 11 protons and it has also 11 neutrons and it is in the first group of the periodic table it belongs to the group first a which is represented by the group first a this symbol it has one valence shell electron and its valence shell which forms its valency it has only one lonely electron and changes sodium ions and change into sodium ions after losing this electron so to form cations of sodium are positive ions of sodium the sodium has to get rid of that very lonely electron this way sodium ions formation occur and sodium gets stability like the stability of the neon gas which is the nearest noble gas and that neon has the same electronic configuration which after losing this one electron in the outermost shell the electrons after losing the electrons the sodium gets that very noble gas electronic configuration sodium atom gets electronic configuration of the noble gas neon neon atomic number and atomic masses are and the superscript on and the subscript this is the atomic mass which is the 20 20 is the atomic mass of the neon gas and it has 10 electron in its outermost shell so when sodium atom loses its one electron in the outermost shell you will notice it and when we will represent and when we will discuss it in a short while you will notice that sodium atoms get this very neon configuration as represented by the following two ways these are the two ways which we adopt to represent the cations or the cations formation of the sodium atoms so this is the sodium atom it has its k shell which is accommodated by the two electrons and the second shell which is the l shell has eight electrons and it has in the third shell it has only one electron so during cations formation the sodium atoms loses their outermost this very electron they lose this very electron and when they lose this very electron they become the cations and the cations formation you will represent it when they will ask the question in the paper you will have to represent it like this in the lewis model structure so and this is the lewis model structure you will have to uh, represent the sodium cations like this it has two electrons in the k shell and now it has eight electron in the L shell. Combine these two electrons plus eight electrons. Now it has the electronic configuration of the neon gas, which is this one. If you notice, sodium has two electrons and neon has two electrons in the first shell. 
now the second shell sodium atom has now eight electrons and the neon gas has, has also eight electrons and its electronic configuration is then another way through which we can represent it represent the cat ions so now the second way is this way the complete electronic configuration if you notice before cat ions formation the sodium atoms electronic configuration is this its first shell has two electrons so it has one is two and its second shell it has two subshell which is the 2s and 2p so these eight electrons will be will be placed in these those two subshells two in the 2s and six in the 2p so the k shell has eight electrons in total and its electronic configuration is like the neon gas which is the which has eight electrons in the its two subshell like 2s and 2p so collectively these are making 10 electrons and which is a stable formation so the sodium atom has 10 electrons and this one electrons the 3s electron the three subshell has one electron before cations formation so the sodium atom will has to will have to lose this one electrons from this outermost shell this subshell and become cations sodium now after losing this very electron will become its electronic configuration will become like this and you will have to represent in the paper like this 1s2 2s2 2p6 and as you can see the neon also has this very electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 and 2p6 and this one electron is lost by the sodium atom and now it became the sodium ion or the cat ion this way sodium gets its stability like the neon gas like this one so this is the electronic configuration method through which you can represent the cations and this is the Lewis model or dot structure through which you can represent the cations now we will discuss the second the second uh, matter that is the magnesium magnesium formation atomic number of magnesium is 12 which means it has 12 electrons it belongs to the group second a it means that it has uh, two electrons in the outermost shell so it has two electrons in its valence shell it loses these two electrons and become magnesium ion its electronic configuration becomes like the neon gas and it's also after losing these two electrons it becomes the cat ions of magnesium and gets the stability like the neon gas likewise we have discussed it in the sodium cases so this way you can represent its k shell has two electron and its l shell has eight electrons and its m shell has this lonely pair of electrons so the magnesium ion the magnesium uh, atom will lose these two electrons and will become and you will have to represent it like this in the parentheses magnesium two electrons and now in the second shell which is now is the valence shell of this very ion it will become this uh, cation magnesium and you will write it like this magnesium now magnesium mg is its symbol plus two and these two electrons plus two electrons are lost to form in order to get stability and to form cations it is one way you can represent the cations and it's the second way magnesium has first shell two electrons second shell subshell 2s has two electron 2p has six electron and these three s two electrons the magnesium has to lose this electron so now the magnesium ion or the cations formation is like this magnesium plus 2 1s2 2s2 and 2p6 as you have noticed it already that neon gas has also this electronic configuration so these are the two ways through which we can represent the cations formation what are cations they will uh, give you certain atoms and will ask you to represent them the two ways or any of these two ways 
and you will have to first first thing you have to remember is the uh, atomic number if you know the atomic number and if you know how many electrons that specific atom has in its valence shell then it's it's way easier to form its cations and represents it in these two ways as uh, mentioned here electronic configuration method and the lewis model method hope this makes sense to you inshallah in the next tutorial we will discuss some more example which will be according to your syllabus and of the com upcoming examination hope this makes sense allah face take care